I picked up this R2 on eBay recently and uh, figured I could fix it. It's got an interesting couple of problems actually. The, of course, first and foremost, the gearbox uh, for that middle leg was messed up. Uh, it was interesting when I took it apart, I realized that uh, they must have realized that that, uh, that mechanism and, and the one gear in particular was a problem because they went back and they redesigned it a little bit. They made it a sturdier plastic and they actually stuck a metal pin uh, through the peg that uh, guides everything. Uh, to make it a little stronger, which I haven't seen before. Um, but then, uh, obviously, this got dropped or something because it actually bent that pin. And uh, so it didn't break the peg, but it did bend that metal piece, which I was able to straighten. And so now the, the that metal leg works okay. But... Uh, the the issue is that after doing a bunch of troubleshooting and checking different uh, the boards and swapping them out and such, realized that <coughs> this left leg has some sort of problem where if it's plugged in, kind of hard to do that with one hand here, but now that it's plugged in. Uh, watch what happens. If I try and drive it, done. Completely freezes up. Gestures no longer work. The head no longer works. So there is some sort of basically a short where uh, it's you know, creating an error which freezes up the unit. So uh, I'm going to have to take that leg apart and see if I can figure out why uh, it's doing that. So I've taken the leg apart and this is what it looks like. These are how the gears go. And the uh, little motor unit. Uh, interestingly, when I popped it apart, this little, little tiny piece of metal came out. It almost looks like a soldered uh, connector of some type that's broken, but looking at this, I don't see any missing. So if that was lodged in there somewhere, uh, it could have been shorting things out. I sprayed it with a little bit of electronics cleaner, uh, plug it in and see what it does. All right, we are connected. And with any luck at all, no, still nothing, still frozen up. All right, well, I wound up taking out this motor unit, swapping it out with another one that I had. I can't see anything wrong with it. Um, there may be a short or something in that board. I'm going to keep fooling with it and see if I can figure it out. But in the meantime, uh, with that new motor, you know, R2 is working just fine. Well, it's interesting, but I switched out the motors on the left leg with another R2 unit and for whatever reason now this this motor works in this unit but it wouldn't work in the other one so I don't know if it was a connector issue or what but they both are working again so just had to swap them out I don't I can't explain it but at least it's fixed.